Recently, I pointed a $700,000 telescope at nothing for five hours. I dedicated the video to my one and only Patreon, Milos. I explained how thanks to his support, I was able to continue making cool projects like this, to which you guys then did something pretty unbelievable. So, as a thanks to those of you who left kind messages of support and even donated to fund this channel, I've had an idea. I'm going to convert some of your names into coordinates and then point some very expensive telescopes from all across the planet at these locations. Wow! I will then take several long exposure photographs and analyse what curious wonders we have stumbled upon. I'm Damon Scotting, and this is Astronomical. Our first target will be thanks to the donation of Chaz. Now, Chaz starts with a C, which is the third letter in the alphabet. Then we have H, which is the eighth, followed by A, which is the first, and then Z, which is the 26th. Some names will be long enough to give us a full set of coordinates, or in Chaz's case, I'll simply have to reuse them for both our right ascension and declination. And voila! I type in these coordinates for a $50,000 telescope setup located on the other side of the planet in Australia. Then Bob's your uncle, we have our images. I then process our photos to produce our first deep sky image of the episode. And... There we are. Spooky. This particular shot is 60 megapixels, which means there is plenty to explore on a smaller scale. However, in this instance, there aren't too many curiosities hidden away. Nevertheless, our first capture is one of a desolate landscape that hints at the mysterious wonders out there that are waiting for us to discover. So, where to next? How about the sky? Our next Patreon has a very fitting name for our astronomical observations. Once I input their name as coordinates and use a bit of imagination to fill in the blanks, we have captured our second set of images. Which bring us very close to a stunning globular cluster. But as marvellous as this super dense collection of solar systems is, they are barely scratching the surface in terms of what strange phenomena have also been captured in this image. Now I need to stop the video here and quickly make a point. I am still a novice explorer of the universe. In my past 11 years of stargazing, I have seen many odd and peculiar wonders, but something incredibly unlikely has happened. You see, I'm starting to feel as though everything is linked. Interlinked. And I mean everything. When I first captured this globular cluster, my initial thought was, wow, that is stunning. Since it's located in the Southern Hemisphere, I've never imaged it myself before. But when I was reading up on it, I not only discovered that it is in fact the fourth brightest globular cluster in our night sky, but hiding behind it is one of the oldest and best kept secret dwarf galaxies we've ever discovered. Bedeen 1. I first learned about Bedeen 1 last year and it intrigued me so much that I went on to make an entire video about it. It turns out that the globular cluster that we have imaged in Sky's photo is the same one of which this secret galactic treasure resides behind. As I've already mentioned, this is a 60 megapixel photo. There is a lot of room to magnify our view, but even with this level of super high resolution at our disposal, we were never going to be able to make out Bedeen 1 lurking beyond the astonishing brightness of this 12 billion year old star cluster. I was desperate to explore further, so I swapped out the wide field telescope setup in Australia for a much more powerful $180,000 setup located in Chile that will allow us to see in 10 times higher magnification. And here we go. There are several exquisite marvels in this image, and each one is more peculiar than the last. Perhaps the most bizarre of them all is this group of galaxies towards the lower left. This stunning galaxy triplet is known as the Devil's Mask. You are witnessing a cosmic ballet as these galactic monsters dance together in a performance that will last for billions of years, pulling on one another's arms as they intertwine their constituent stars. Hundreds of billions of solar systems now slowly coming together to form an island of over a trillion stars. Beautiful. 
very happy I did image this galaxy triplet up close, especially since our previous best photos of the Devil's Mask were captured by the European Space Agency's very large telescope almost 20 years ago. You could perhaps argue that with a little better processing skills and more than just 40 minutes exposure time on these galaxies, you could produce an even better image than this one taken by the VLT. Hmm, now wouldn't that be something? Maybe that's a challenge for another day. As incredible as Sky's image was, it's important to mention that the vast majority of our night sky is empty, and I mean empty empty. When making this video I tried out every single one of the names belonging to those who donated to support this channel, but very few were even possible. Immediately, half of all potential candidates are ruled out because as it stands, the regions in our night sky that their names correspond to are behind the sun, meaning it could be another 6 months before they become visible. So, in the end, I'm left with about 28 names that I can image, many of which contained a number of faint deep sky objects that I thought would be visible, but I was wrong. Here's how a lot of the images turned out. But in spite of these obvious difficulties, I did still manage to capture some exceptional wonders. Our next target is thanks to a generous person by the name of Sim. They joined the Destroyed by a Star level, which cost just £1 to be a member of. I used their name to generate some coordinates and found a gorgeous galaxy. I mean that is absolutely breathtaking. It's difficult to know what our own galaxy looks like without the help of a 100,000 light year long selfie stick. But based on the current estimates that we can make by looking at the Milky Way galaxy in our night sky, we can say with a fair amount of confidence that it looks very similar to this galaxy right here. A little known fact is that we have several tiny satellite galaxies that orbit the Milky Way, 69 to be exact, with two of the brightest and most noticeable being the small and large Magellanic Clouds. They're only really visible from the southern hemisphere which makes them impossible to see for 87% of the population that lives in the northern hemisphere. Off to the lower left of NGC 1232 is what appears to also be a satellite galaxy. The similarities don't seem to end. This is actually the first time I've come across this galaxy. After all, the universe is a very big place. 10 out of 10 would randomly point a telescope at again. But in terms of deep sky objects that you will likely have seen before, how about this one? Thanks to Ryan, our next photo includes the Lagoon and Trifid Nebulae. The high resolution capabilities of the telescope's cameras mean that we can zoom in and pan across these immense clouds of dust and gas and marvel at these intricate spectacles. One of my favourite things to do is try and make sense of these random shapes and formations in space. Astronomers love giving a quirky and peculiar name to a deep sky object which then prompts all of us to squint and turn our heads when looking at the same object as we try to figure out how on earth that this is a monkey's head? Well, thanks to this next image, produced as a result of another generous donator, this time by the name of Gary L. Cheers, Gaz. Cheers, Gaz. We have this wavy nebula. Any guesses on what this is most commonly referred to as? Three, two, one. We have captured the Seagull Nebula. But to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of this name, for two reasons. Number one, I think seagulls are dick. No, I'm being serious. In fact, just last week, a seagull took a shit on me. And number two, I personally see this as more of a bow and arrow nebula, or maybe even a harp. To call it a specific bird always bugs me a little. I mean, what specifically makes this an eagle? Sorry, I mean a, a seagull. Maybe it's more of a seagull, like Jason. Anyway, cool picture. Everyone be sure to say thanks, Gaz. Thanks, Gaz. The level of support from my previous video was phenomenal. I am fairly certain that 99% of the donations were done from the kindness of people's hearts and with no strings attached. But with that being said, some viewers seemed as though they wanted something in return. There were multiple, that's right, multiple people who were kind enough to donate amounts as large as $50. To me, that is crazy, which is what makes this next part absolutely batshit insane. Fuck. See how big that bat was? That was huge. This legend, god, entity, deity, all-powerful supreme being, as casually as you like, dropped a single donation of $500. So, for Francis, I wanted to do something extra special. Yes, I converted their name into coordinates, I captured a very nice image, but it deserves more, so much more. Which is why for the final image of this episode, I have captured something that lives up to the name of this channel. I have captured something truly astronomical.
Thanks to Francis's donation, I've created a 6x3 panel image of the location corresponding to Francis's name. One that is set to include some of the most remarkable and mystifying wonders yet. All as part as a 1400 megapixel image. That's right, the size of this picture is 1.4 gigapixels. But here's the issue, it's taking a very long time to create, largely due to the weather and the fact that this is a monstrous job in terms of editing. But once it's ready, I'll be sure to post a free, fully zoomable copy so that you all have the chance to explore it. I'm hoping to make another video like this soon, which I include more subscribers and patrons names when scanning our cosmos in search of all things sparkling and wonderful. On the subject of Patreon, I've revamped it to better award those who wish to help the production of more quirky videos like this. You can still join for as little as £1, and as a result, be featured in the description of all future videos and even get sneak peeks at what videos are coming up next. Once again, I just want to thank each and every one of you nerds who likes these videos and recommends them to their friends and family. I want you to rest assured that this is having a very positive effect and I can't wait to share with you some of the cool stuff that I've been working so hard on. I'm Damon Scotting, and this was Astronomical.